Tim Laird here with Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, the show that takes you out to eat at your favorite local restaurants. And I'm Kevin Harnett. We've been to a lot of great restaurants through the years, and while many are now part of local history, their flavor and recipes live on. So join us now for a tasty blast from the past on a Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs Rewind. Hey everybody, Tim Laird with a special edition of Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Tonight, we're at Slugger Field for the Taste of Derby Festival. This annual event raises tens of thousands of dollars for Dare to Care, helping to feed the hungry in our community. And it's a chance for people to sample the fare from dozens upon dozens of local restaurants all under one roof. We have over 70 different restaurants and beverage vendors and dessert people here. It's something for a good cause and I really enjoy coming, trying all the foods. Plenty of food and cocktails too. And of course I made it to the Woodford Reserve booth. You got to do that. It's the official bourbon of Churchill Downs. They even have this beautiful, gorgeous commemorative bottle this year that they're showing off. And it just so happens that I have one of the $1,000 mint julep cups. They love this drink you guys are sampling. I, I tried it earlier. It's a, it's a peach punch, right? Yes, it is. It's light, refreshing. Can you give us a couple of the secret ingredients that's uh, in the peach punch? Yes, secret ingredient is Minute Maid peach juice. Okay. Sprite. Sprite. And Woodford Reserve, of course. And Woodford Reserve, the most important ingredient to that. Here it is. All right. Oh yeah, light, refreshing. All right, cheers, you guys do bourbon well. Thank you, cheers, thank you. All right, everybody loves cheese, and I'm over here at Bill's Famous Cheese Spreads. Tell me about what you're offering here today. Well, today we have uh, our four of our Ghost Pop best flavors, I guess you could say. We have a smoked Gouda. We have our original that's a spicy with a little cheddar kick. We've got our new newest flavor, bourbon pecan, and we have our smoked peppery dill. Wow. I'll tell you what, if I'm going to start out and taste one, which one would you say we'll I should We'll start out with the original. It All was right. our first one that we ever came out with nine years ago. Here it ago. is. And this is what made you famous. Well, Bill always <laughs> says the cheese is famous, he is not. I got you. All right. All right. So here we go. I'm going to try it. I like that. A little hint of garlic, pimentos in there. And cheddar. still a very nice cheddar and, and creamy texture to that, too. I mean, yes. oh my gosh, i got to go in for one more dip. Oh, yeah. Double this dip. Is Unbelievable. Thank you for showing us. Thank stuff. you very much. Appreciate your, your it, guys. Famous cheese. Made right here in Louisville. All right, I found one of our friends, Dallas McGarrity, at Marketplace Restaurant at Theater Square. What are we serving up tonight, Dallas? I have some creamy Weisenberger grits with a little Border Spring Farms Ooh. lamb ragu. It's it's a it's a nice little dish. We get the the lamb from Border Spring Farms out of Virginia. Oh, and very we get nice. the legs and we do them kind of carnita style. So then we pull them off the bone and then we stew them for about four and a half hours. Oh, and it's kind of like a nice little hearty Italian stew. And you can just tell how tender so, that is and all yeah. the flavors that's going on. Of course, you could have a better base than this with the grits going yeah, on. I yeah. mean, that is awesome. Yeah, I bet people are loving it. So. Oh man. A little parmesan on top. It's like that, that stew you were talking about. They exactly. get the grits in there, the parmigiano. All right, I'm going in, Dallas. <laughs> but that lamb, delicious. Yeah. The creaminess of the grits. I mean, the flavor is awesome. Good to see you, Dallas. Always a pleasure. Absolutely. Come down to his restaurant, though. See him there on his home turf. You'll love it. It's always a sweet treat at Cellar Door Chocolates, and I'm here with Erica. You always have some great, wonderful samples. What are we sampling tonight? Well, tonight we have our classic bourbon ball, very creamy, very buttery, and delicious. Perfect. And we have our bourbon barrel stout truffle Ooh. with a Florida salad on top. Very yummy. Love that combination. Oh, yeah. uh, it sounds great. Well, I, you know what? Do you mind if I try one of the... Uh... I would love it. Oh, this did. looks great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy, happy, happy. That is just a bundle of joy. My job here is done. <laughs> you are done. I'm done. Where can we go to get these? Our flagship store is at 1201 Story Avenue in the Butchertown Market. Okay, Butchertown Market. In the Highlands, you can get them at Dundee Candy Shop, at Old Town Liquor, and at the Wine Market. And uh, in the Frankfurt area, the Wine Wrap and lots of pasta. Wow, that's great. So, really, no matter where you are, you don't have to go too far to get these incredible treats. Thanks, Erica. Thanks. 
The Corner Cafe is always a favorite around Derby time and all time. I'm here with our friend Chef Randy. How are you? Hey there, Tim. Hey, and you're even flying our, our, our uh, other show's flag. I love that. Secrets of Louisville Chefs Live, what we've had you on, and you yeah. always do a great yeah. job with us. Done it quite a few times. What are you serving up tonight? We're doing a, a black and tenderloin on a French toast, uh, toast point with jalapeno jelly. It's got about 18 different kinds of spices in that black and tenderloin. <laughs> <laughs> and the jalapeno jelly I ship in from Dillman's out of uh, Indianapolis. They wow. make it fresh. 18. Now that's, uh, if, I, if I do the math right, that's seven more than the kernel, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. So, and do you keep yours a secret? No. No. You can come on down to the Corner Cafe. That's how they are. They'll share everything with you. Awesome place. Thank you. If you haven't been to Martini's Italian Bistro, you need to get out there and see Chef Alan Hubbard. How are Come you, out, Chef? I'm, I'm yeah, baby. Jim. How are you, baby? I, 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 last time we saw you, you were in Kitchen Theater. Yeah, we love you in make there. Your face happy. He was having fun. I'll tell you Always. what. And again, another creation. Yeah, it's a little something to do for us. But tonight, love uh, pasta rosa, cremini mushrooms, chicken, spinach, roasted red pepper, cream sauce. A little something for the ladies. This is really, really good. Definitely one of my favorites of the night, for sure. It's you, all about, it's all yeah. about helping the community. It, it, you know? it is. You always help the community. Uh, always, 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 always. Check it out. Check it out. I can't wait. I can't wait. And I know right. everything you do is phenomenal. But this looks good. There you go. Huh? Oh. oh. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Feel the love. Can, oh. can you feel the love? I'm feeling the love. That's what I'm talking about. Tasting the love. There you go. This is great. I'm telling you what. Go up to Martini's Italian Beach Show. They are incredible. Tell them where you are. We're chef. located at the Summit. 4021 Summit Plaza Drive. Hey, here's a little secret. Monday's $5 martini. And that's all day. Oh. <laughs> all day. All night. All Not day, just all an day. hour. All night. day. Stay with us. Much more to eat and drink coming up from the Taste of Derby Festival right here on Secrets of Bluegrass Shops. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of Kentucky Proud. Nothing else is close. With support from the Kentucky Beef Council. In Kentucky, beef is still what's for dinner. And by PNC Bank. For the achiever in you. I'm Natalie Reese, the owner of Cooking at Millie's. We bring in local chefs from restaurants all around Louisville to walk you through a three-course meal. It's a fun evening of you making dinner, eating, and learning a few things while drinking a glass of wine. We would love for you to join us one evening. Cooking at Millie's is for everyone. You know, bring a friend, bring your significant other, bring whoever you want. Just have a great dinner and a great night out. Enjoy exceptional and authentic Mexican cuisine at Gustavo's Mexican Grill, now in Norton Commons. It's food that goes way beyond burritos and tacos. Everything from seafood to sizzling fajitas, homemade moles, and fresh soups that eat like a meal. The bar is stocked with all your favorite things, too. Don't miss $3.99 margarita days. Every Tuesday, all day long. Taste and feel the authenticity at Gustavo's Mexican Grill in Crestwood, LaGrange, Prospect, and now in Norton Commons. Catch a fresh episode of Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs every weekend on Wave 3 News. Set a series record on your DVR and never miss an episode. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, served fresh every weekend. Summer says enjoy, and so does Ditto's with Citrus Atlantic Cod. Sauteed North Atlantic Cod Filet, a topped smashed potatoes in a tangy citrus sauce, topped with lemon and basil. Ditto's Grill, Bardstown Road at Grinstead Drive. Thanks for joining us again on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, where this time we're looking back on Kentucky's culinary history. It's a Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs Rewind. Welcome back to a special edition of Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. We're here at the Taste of Derby Festival. Hundreds of folks are here tasting the best that our Louisville restaurants have to offer. All of the proceeds from tonight's event are going to Dare to Care, which does a lot of work to keep people in the Louisville area from going hungry. I'm with Brian Riendo of Dare to Care. Brian, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Oh, we're happy to be here, and what a wonderful event for Dare to Care. Dare to Care has been serving the uh, struggling families in this community for 45 years. We are the food bank that provides food to families when they fall into need. Uh, and I got to tell you, right now, 
This event is so important because the need for food assistance in Kentuckiana has never been higher than it is today. Every dollar that's raised by Dare to Care provides four meals directly back into this community. Wow. So every ticket that was sold tonight, the tickets are $80, every one of those provides 320 meals to wow. folks in need in our community. That is incredible. And it comes back to our community right here. Absolutely. Feeding those that need to be fed and the hungry. So again, thank you for all you're doing. And let's all get involved. It's a great cause, gang, for our community. Thank you. Thank you. you. You know it's a great event because even ceviche is here tonight. So tell me, what are you serving tonight? What we have is a cucumber and tomato gazpacho topped with some radish sprouts, a nice cold summer soup. Oh, great for the summertime. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just lots so of like refreshing and everything else. Well, you know what? I, I might have to just try that yes, just to make sure. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So I was thinking we should team up with a vodka booth and oh. have some good Bloody Marys as well. Oh, that would be phenomenal. <laughs> This is delicious. Good. There is a lot of flavor going on yeah, in there. Yeah, absolutely. Nice and fresh. Fresh. This is awesome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. It's good to see you. Good to see you again. I'm over at the new Albanian Bank Street Brew House. Some great food looks like here. Matt, what are you serving up? We have duck confit mac and cheese. Duck confit mac and cheese. Just yes, when you sir. thought mac and cheese can't get any better, we're having duck confit. All right, I've got to try this one. Here it is, mac and cheese, duck confit. Oh, I'm hooked. I'm hooked now. Oh my God, can I get this to uh, New Albania? Yes, you can. Oh, to go with Matt's great foods, we have some wonderful brews here. And you have the black and bluegrass here, and this is a Belgian spiced ale, and you have the naughty girl here, a Belgian hoppy ale, like an India blonde. That's going to be the one that I think might go with the food a little bit oh. better. Absolutely. A little citrus in there. Citrus, some nice spices. Nice, well-balanced yeah. spices. Black pepper, blue agave, nectar, and lemongrass. Really food-friendly. Actually yeah. cleanses the palate. If you haven't been over the New Albanian, you've got to get over there. It is incredible. It's worth a trip for the food and the brew. I'm telling you, you guys are doing some wonderful things. Appreciate it. And always changing it up, you guys. So from the beers to the food, always something new. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's excellent. Excellent. Cheers. We're at the Silver Dollar and I'm with Chef Jonathan. How are you, Chef? Very good. How are you, sir? I'll tell you what, you have some wonderful choices here. Tell me about what you're serving up tonight. Right here we have our sweet brisket barbecue. It's smoked 18 hours, made with our ketchup-based barbecue sauce that we also smoke in-house. Oh, so you smoke the barbecue sauce too? Yes, sir. Oh, how about that? Double smoke. And this is really kind of uh, shows kind of the fare that you serve at Silver Dollar, right? Yeah, comfort food with a refined touch, but very approachable and very affordable. Uh, very affordable. And I'll tell you, it's a fun place to go into a big place you feel comfortable you go in relax and just have fun chef thank you for sharing the secrets with pleasure. us we appreciate it we ran into another friend of ours and a friend of the show chef michael crouch bistro 1860 hello chef how you doing fantastic oh to see you. man we always like working with you too i mean you have a lot of fun people love bistro 1860 what a great place yeah. i mean ambiance everything you got it all there it's, uh, it's a fantastic place i think so i'm partial <laughs> Hey, I'm impartial. I'm going to say it's a fantastic place. This is a watercress salad. It's got some uh, lardon bacon, dried bean cherries with a local smoked blue cheese, red wine, blue cheese vinaigrette. What a great way to uh, hide uh, lardons around some greens. And everybody says, this looks healthy. This looks really healthy. <laughs> Whatever. Hide the lardones amongst the greens and you'll be all right. It looks great. It's a popular salad on the menu. Oh, people are loving it. And that's why I said you can get this at the restaurant. So, Bistro 1860, that's the place to be anytime. I'm telling you, I love it. Good, always good to see you, good Chef. Good to see you as always. Michael Crouch, he's awesome. Hey, just say tequila. I'll tell you what, I found the booth. It's uh, El Jimador and Aradura. Well, we've got Mexico's most popular uh, drink, the Paloma. Very easy to make, very refreshing for the summer. It's got squirt, it's got tequila and fresh lime, so it makes a perfect combination. It's not the margarita, but it's the Paloma that's the number one cocktail in Mexico. That's right, that's correct. And you just gave us ingredients, so you can do this now at home. A little El Jimador, Reposado, a little squirt, right, and, fresh and lime. a little fresh lime juice. You can lighten it up and use Fresca if you want, right? That's We're correct. saving on calories, but I want the real deal. Mind if I taste your sampling here? Go right ahead, Tim. I love tequila. 
Oh yeah. And I'll tell you what, that's light and refreshing. It's very refreshing and tequila to me is probably my go-to drink besides bourbon. Well, as they say, salute! Salute! Stay with us, much more to eat and drink coming up from the Taste of Derby Festival, right here on Secrets of Bluegrass House. River House Restaurant and Raw Bar, now open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Featuring the cuisine of Chef John Veronese with a Southern-inspired menu and an emphasis on seafood with a spectacular raw bar. River House, right next to the water tower at 3015 River Road. Reservations recommended. Italian at its finest, Volare. Inspired cuisine by Chef Josh Moore. Intimate dining, private events, and year-round patio seating. Savor Volare. Cocktails and dinners seven nights a week. Volare on Frankfurt Avenue. Tim Laird with you again on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. And we're always talking about how you can cook like a pro at home. And one of the secrets is having the right tools. I'm at the Dine Company on Preston Highway here in Louisville, and I feel like a kid in a candy store. They have everything. And I'm here with Joe Simonette. Hi, Joe. Hi, Tim. We do have everything. We have commercial products. We have residential products. If you want to cook at home, if you want to cook as a restaurant, and the great thing is, is we're open to the public. There's no memberships required. Anybody can come in here and shop. We always tell people one of the secrets is having the right tools, and you have them. In fact, I was thinking about some cutlery items, and uh, I know you have a wide selection of that. Can you show me what that's all about? Yes, we've got all kinds of things to choose from. Come on, let's go take a peek. Let's do it. We start here with knife sharpeners, but we've got every knife you can imagine from top wow. of the line, Dexter brands, to every size, every cut, for everything that you want to do inside of a kitchen, uh, every purpose. We have the cutting boards. We have everything that you would need. We have dough cutters. We have slicers. We have anything that you can imagine in here. And you can help uh, people actually choose what they're looking for. Yes, we have trained staff in here that uh, some of them are executive chefs themselves or they've been executive chefs. Uh, so not only are they knowledgeable about the product, but they're knowledgeable how to use, how to maintain, how to make sure they stay sharp, all those things. And we have all those tools and accessories you need to take care of those tools, to properly store those tools and take care of everything. And it looks like, Joe, you've got a variety of price points here so you start out uh, from good better to best yes we do have a variety because uh, some of your executive chefs they're gonna want a very quality knife because they use it every single day uh, but then some of your homeowners they want a restaurant quality knife that a chef would use but they don't want to pay the top end price so we always have good quality products we just have a variety and a variety of price points depending upon the customers needs every size measuring cup you can imagine. We've got salt and pepper shakers, sugar dispensers, bowls. And Joe, I saw you have a lot of cookware. Can you help me out in that department as well? Yes, we've got a whole aisle of nothing but cookware. Let's go check it I out. I want to see that. All, All right. right. Wow, Joe, you really do have a selection of everything you need for the stove top at home. I mean, any size, any shape. Yeah, Tim, we've got everything from a two quart pot all the way up to a 60 quart pot. So you can get anything you want as big or as small. If you can think about needing it in a kitchen, we've got it. No jobs too big or too small. You have it all. Yes, <laughs> yes we do. Everything you can imagine from an aluminum fry pan to a non-stick pan to stainless steel pans, we have it all. Even a simple disher, you have plenty to choose from of all sizes. Yes, we've got every size disher you could, you could possibly use, and we've got them again in a good, better, best quality. We've got a very high end for someone that's going to use a lot, but we've got for the homeowner that's just going to use one every now and then, give them a good price point option. Excellent. Joe, we do a lot of pizzas on the grill, and I'll tell you what, you have all the equipment you need, including this rocker knife that is invaluable in cutting pizzas. Yes, it's the best thing. It makes it easy. It gets rid of that old roller cutter, and you can really cut things smooth, straight, and make things quick and easy. I love it. i got to get one of those. Well, we can take care of you today. Remember, no membership required. That's right. You probably know I like to shake up a few cocktails at home, so how about bar supplies? Yeah, we've got plenty to choose from. Let's go check that out, too. 
I just love this. You have a full array of everything you need for the home bar. Yes, we do. We've got anything you can think of to make you feel like a professional, even when you're at home, from shaking tins to jiggers to pour spouts to muddlers. We've got all kinds of glassware to choose from, from a beer glass to a mixing glass to a old-fashioned glass to a rocks glass. We've got it all. You need a big margarita glass. That's right. When I only have one, this is the glass I'm going to use. If there's something you've seen or you think of, even as your, your home cook, your, your home bartender, if you've seen it, we can get it for you as well. That goes for glassware, cookware, flatware. If you've seen it, we can find it for you. Thanks, Joe, for showing us around the store. I'll tell you what, I really do feel like a kid in a candy store, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go get a cart because I need to do some shopping myself. All right, we'll take care of you. Wow, this is fantastic. At a Kentucky Proud Farmer's Market, you'll find the freshest produce, eggs, meat, and more. But what you don't see makes a difference too like the care Kentucky farmers put into growing and raising that food for your family. The fewer miles that food travels from the farm to your plate. Even the dollars you're keeping in our local community. Fresh food, fresh thinking. Find both at a Kentucky Proud Farmers Market near you. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs is a presentation of Kentucky Proud. Nothing else is close. With support from the Kentucky Beef Council. In Kentucky, beef is still what's for dinner. And by PNC Bank, for the achiever in you. Thanks for joining us again on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, where this time we're looking back on Kentucky's culinary history. It's a Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs Rewind this time at Louisville Slugger Field for the Taste of Derby Festival. Dozens and dozens of local restaurants are here showing off their signature dishes and we're tasting our way through all of them. All right, we're at Bravo, the Italian place at Oxmoor Center, and I'm here with Chef Michael Hungerford. Hello, Chef. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Listen, Excellent. what are you serving up today? It's, it's gotta be Italian, I'm just guessing. We got our spaghetti. And we got our homemade meatballs. Oh. Our meatballs are made with a nice uh, beef and pork blend. We, we use a nice brioche egg inside of it as well with a little bit of Parmesan. Nice. They're nice and firm. Definitely. Oh, you know what? Do you mind if I try one? No, not at all. I love this. Put a little bit of that on there. There was an old song about that, wasn't there? On top of spaghetti, my meatball. Oh, yeah. That's a long well, my, time my ago, daughter right? likes to sing, you know, ravioli, ravioli, spaghetti underneath. <laughs> so. You know, I, I always tell her spaghetti's under, underneath. That's it always right. has to be that, underneath. That, that's right. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Just as you said. You got to try it. Oh. Talk about something to, worth singing about. And also, you know what I'm going to say? Bravo. That is awesome. Chef Hungerford. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you very Bravo. much. Bravo. You know what I like about the Taste of Derby Festival is you can always find out new products that are out there and sample them. I'm with Phyllis here with Early Times and you have two new fun products. This is the Early Times Fire Eater. All right. And what we'll do is go ahead and just pour a little bit of Early Times Fire Eater so into your cup. This? this is Early Times Blind Archer. It's spiced apple. Okay. And we pour one part into the cup. Nice. With the so one part, one part. One part. Take some ginger ale. A little ginger ale goes in. Ginger goes in. That's great. And there you go. All right. I got to tell you, this looks interesting. I, I I wouldn't think about putting these two together. Oh my gosh. That is delicious. I mean, what a great cocktail. All right, the private room at BBC's The Bourbon Barrel Loft. And I'm here, we're talking about some fun things that you guys are presenting. We have a New York strip here. It sits atop it as a bourbon demi-glaze, and it sits atop a Yukon and sweet potato hash. And we also have beer down here, so you can pair it with a bourbon barrel stout. I was going to say, I'll bet this goes great yeah. with beer. That was my next line. You know, you know we specialize in beer. I might have to go over there and try one of your beers right now, if you don't have mind. Have it up, my friend. That'd be pair great. One of these. And I'll pair it with one of these. This looks absolutely fabulous. Look at that. Thank Cheers. You, oh, here it is. Oh. All right, I'll tell you what. I might as well do the pairing right here. Cheers with you. Oh, excellent. Cheers. 
a little smokiness, chocolate, a little coffee in there. Kind of a rich, wonderful full stout. Look at that, how creamy that is. That's good. Now I'm going to go on to the beef. <laughs> it's cooked to perfection. I really like the sauce and the texture. And the flavors are amazing. They have everything here from lamb, cheese spreads, even cocktails. I made my way over here to the Brown Foreman Vodka booth and it looks like there's a lot of selections. Susan, tell me about what you're offering tasters today. We have some great cocktails to serve this evening. We're featuring the Finlandia Rose. Very good. Finlandia Raspberry Lemonade. We've got two of our new little black dress vodkas, the Pineapple Honey and the Black Cherry Vanilla. Oh, those sound delicious. And the ever popular Chambord Fleur de Lis. I love that. It's one of my favorites. And I'll tell you what, tell us what's in the Finlandia Raspberry Lemonade. The Finlandia Raspberry Lemonade is Finlandia Raspberry Vodka. Okay. Cream Berry juice and lemonade. Very easy. Mind if I try Very one? Please. Oh, I've got to try this. This sounds actually nice, light, refreshing. Here it is. Oh yeah, that is a winner. That is delicious. I love this. I guarantee you, tasters are going to love this. Thank you for showing some of the great vodkas that uh, Brown Foreman is providing with everybody. So Thank cheers. You. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. We're at Zanzibar now, and what a nice partnership this is. Of course, a winner, Trifecta Gourmet Sauces. Tell me what you're serving up tonight. Um, Jamie Jones here has been smoking pork butts for the last three days. Wow. Um, he made some, uh, he made some uh, coleslaw with, uh, with pickled onions, and we're going to give people a choice of the Trifecta Spicy or the Trifecta Regular Barbecue Sauce. But we've also got Nord's Bakery Buns as the bun. So oh, nice. Leave those guys out. These buns pretty much make the sandwich. Now, is this something we can get at Zanzibar? Oh, yeah. Oh, excellent. And I love your menus. These are uh, very unique as well. Kind of brings me back. <laughs> All right, there it is. Look at that. There's the coleslaw. There's that wonderful meat, beautiful bun, and the spicy trifecta sauce. We have another winner. <laughs> I picked it. It's the trifecta. Yay! Right, Delicious. It's going to pay off, I'm telling you. This is great. That smokiness comes out, all the flavor. There's Jamie Jones and Sean Harrigan are the guys that made this. Awesome stuff. job, yeah. guys. I don't need to go anywhere else. We're done. <laughs> That'll do it for this edition of Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Tim Laird, and we'll see you next time. Make food service easier with help from Dine Company, the restaurant store. If you prep, cook, or serve food, we serve you. Shop Louisville's largest selection of new and used food equipment and smallwares in-store or online at dinecompany.com. Experience the difference our people make at Dine Company, family owned and operated since 1982. Savor seasonal food and fine wine on Frankfurt Avenue at Veronese with live jazz seven days a week, cocktails, dinner, and private events. Late night dining, too. The place to be is at the V. Veronese on Frankfurt Avenue. Olive oil is an essential part of a healthy, low cholesterol diet, and it comes in all flavors at Z Olive, home to the finest extra virgin olive oils from around the world. And you can try all of them before you buy. Z Olive also has a wide variety of fine balsamic vinegars, great locale flavorings for everything from ice cream to steaks, marinades, and glazes. Z Olive makes the perfect gift, or make it your secret ingredient. Taste the finest at Z Olive in Westport Village.